Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter three, lesson 11 on problem solving and adding and subtracting money. Um, problem solving just means word problem, not too bad guys. So it gives us this chart at the beginning in problem one, and we're gonna use that chart um, for at least number two, okay? Also, oh, for one through three, okay? So all three of these, okay? So the first one that we need to do is number two, and it says Natalie and her friends decided to rent four lanes at regular cost for a party. Ten people need to rent shoes, and four people are members. What's the total cost for the party? So I already wrote down there's four lanes at regular cost. Six people need shoes, but they're not members, and four people need shoes, but they are members. Then we need to add all those up, okay? So. First, we're gonna start out by multiplying. So four times five is 20, carry our two. Four times seven is 28, plus two more is 30, carry our three. Four times nine is 36, plus three more is 39. Okay, we're gonna go in one, two places, $39. That's our first one. Okay, next, six times five is 30, carry our three. Six times nine is 54, add three more, 57. Six times three is 18, plus five is 23. So we're gonna go in one, two places, make the decimal right there. So 23, 70, okay? Last one here, four times five is 20, carry our two. Four times nine is 36, plus two is 38, carry our three. Four times two is eight, plus three is 11, okay? We're gonna go in one, two places, one, two places, that makes it 1180, okay? Now we just need to add those up, okay? So first we need to drop our decimal, then add up, those are gonna be zeros. Zero plus seven is seven, plus eight is 15, carry the one, okay? Oh, I didn't add my decimal there, look at that. Bad miss, Leah, all right. One plus nine is 10, plus three is 13, plus one is 14, carry our one. One plus three is four, plus two is six, plus one is seven. Don't forget to put your dollar sign, $74 and 50 cents. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna do number three, okay? Number three says Warren paid $23.85 and received no change. He is a member and rented two lanes. How many pairs of shoes did he rent? So first, he's a member. He rented two lanes. Okay, so $7.50 times two. Okay, then we need to take the money that he paid with, which was $23.85, and we're going to divide it. by his change to find out how many pairs of shoes, okay? Okay, so two times zero, zero. Two times five is 10, carry our one. Two times seven is 14, plus one is 15, okay? We went in one, two times, we're gonna go in one, two times, $15, okay? So, oh, sorry, we actually need to take the $15 away from what he paid and didn't get change for, okay? So, drop my decimal. Five take away zero is five. Eight take away zero is eight. Three cannot take away five, so I need to borrow one. 13 take away five is eight, okay? So, this says $8.85 was what was left over from paying for the lanes, okay? Now, for a member, it costs, two dollars and 95 cents per shoe rental okay so i do not know my 295 uh multiples so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use my calculator no shame in my game and i'm going to put 2.95 times two that's 590 so we have 295 then what goes to 590 Okay, just to keep the same amount of numbers, 2.95 times 3, oh, 885. And that's as far as we'll have to go then. Okay, so 
we know we can't have a decimal outside. We do that. We do that. Now, three times 295 is 885. So, three. So, on your question, three pairs. Okay? You can write three pairs of shoes. I'm not going to. Okay? So, you are going to use the following information for problems four through six. You guys are going to do four through six. You totally can. Okay? Now, you're also going to do the lesson check on the back. Okay? You guys can totally do that. More than capable. Okay? We are going to go down to spiral review. It's important to remember what we've already learned, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay? I'm going to zoom you in just a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Okay. Tracy has saved $425 to spend during her 14-day vacation. About how much money does she, can she spend each day? So, once it's around, right? After we're done. So, $425 divided by 14. Well, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to write that on paper. Because... I do not know my multiplications of 14. Okay, so I'm going to, no shame on my game, write down my multiples of 14. 14, I know 28. Okay, um, so 14 times 3 is 42. 14 times 4, 56. Okay. So hopefully we don't actually have to go any further than this. So I'm going to leave it at this, okay? So 14 is not going to go into 4, placeholder, okay? 14 into 42, three times, which was 42, okay? Subtract, get 0, okay? Now, 0 is definitely smaller than 14, so I can go ahead and bring down my 5, okay? Well, 14 is not going to go into 5. 0. Okay? So now, I need to put a decimal and put a 0. When I put a decimal there, I need to put a decimal up top. Okay? 5 is still smaller than 14, so I'm going to bring down that 0. Well, 14 into 50 now, looks like the closest we're still going to get is 3 times with 42. Okay? Now, here's the thing. It wants to know about how much doesn't want an exact number. So about how much? Well, that 3 is not bigger than 5, so that 30 can stay the same. So it's going to be about $30. So about $30. Okay? Make sure you write down the work. Show your work. It's important. Okay? All right. Number 4 says... What decimal is one-tenth of eight? So it wants to know the, the smaller version. Okay, so the number is going to get smaller by 10. Okay, we would divide it by 10, which means we would move that decimal one place to the left. Okay, which makes it 0 0 0.008. Okay, you can put a zero in front of it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't change it. Okay. I around about 2.25 pounds of Swiss cheese and 4.2 pounds of turkey at the deli. About how much weight of the two items? So, 2.25, 4.2. I'm going to put a zero there. Add them up. That's going to give you how many pounds? Okay. So, five. Oops, drop to the decimal. Five plus zero is five. Two plus two is four. And four. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6.45 pounds, which is, if we rounded it, because it says about how much, okay, so if we rounded it, we wouldn't round up because the 4 is less than 5. So it's going to be about 6 pounds, okay? All right, last one, guys. Shelly ate 4.2 ounces of trail mix. Marshall ate 4.25 ounces of trail mix. How much more trail mix did Marshall eat? So we're going to take the bigger number and subtract the smaller number because an ounces, OZ is ounces, because it wants us to find the difference. Okay? So 
So drop my decimal. 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. And 4 minus 4 is 0. So 0 0.05 ounces. Okay? You can put a 0 in front. You don't have to. Doesn't matter. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out for 311. Come on back for 312. See you guys soon.